Hi everyone, I'm Steve and this is the College Support Network. In the past, I've worked in high schools as a college advisor and I also have experiences working in college financial aid, academic advising, as well as admissions. I'm really passionate about college access and I know applying to colleges can be really confusing as well as really frustrating. That's why I'm here to provide you all with the most accurate information and the most quality information so you can reach your college goals. In today's video, I'll be going over the last major college application that most students will be looking at when they're applying to schools. The application I'm talking about is the Coalition app, which is a college application platform specifically for private colleges and universities. The Coalition stands for the Coalition for Access, Affordability, and Success, and is seen as the direct competitor to the Common app. I don't want to go into too much detail here about the history of the Coalition app just because I went over a lot of that and some other logistics in my private colleges video. But for those who aren't aware, as the name suggests, the Coalition app seeks to give underserved, underrepresented, and marginalized student populations more assistance with college access. And the majority of schools in the Coalition app are available on the Common app as well. But the Coalition app is a good idea for students who know they will need significant financial aid since a lot of the schools on the list can provide it for them. Similar to the CSU, UC, and Common App walkthrough videos that I did in the past, I'll be breaking up this series into two videos as well. Specifically for today's video, I'm going to go over things such as tips before you start, creating your account, and then I'll walk you through three of the four main sections in the Coalition app, which includes the locker, contacts, and colleges list. Before we start, please go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Like always, it really does help the channel out. With that being said, let's get started. As usual with these walkthrough videos, I do like to give you all some tips before we start. And the very first tip I have for you all is just to remember that the coalition application is super long. Similar to the common application, the more colleges that you apply to, the longer the entire process is going to be. So for students that are applying to two, three, four, five, or maybe even six private schools in the common app or even the coalition app, just make sure to pace yourselves well. Don't try to do everything all in one day just because it can be very overwhelming. The next tip I have for you all is to have your unofficial or official test scores as well as transcripts out and ready with you when you're applying. This makes it a lot easier when you're filling out information in your general profile as well as your main college applications because they will be asking for this specific information. This will allow you to answer the questions quickly and efficiently and then as accurately as possible. The next tip I have for you is similar to the Common app as well and it's just to really pay attention to deadlines. Like I mentioned in a lot of my other videos talking specifically about private schools, each private school works independently of one another. That means other deadlines are going to be very different from one another too. So the deadlines for USC is going to be totally different from the ones from Stanford or Caltech or Princeton or wherever private school that you apply to. So for students that are applying to multiple schools, make sure you really do pay attention to those deadlines. And on top of this, a lot of different schools that you apply to are going to have multiple deadlines as well. To elaborate, private colleges will have multiple deadlines such as early action, early decision, regular decision, and so much more. So it's really important for you to stay on top of the deadlines for every single school that you're applying to, and specifically for each school, understanding which deadline you want to apply at, and make sure you get in all your requirements and submit by then. And the next tip for the Coalition app is to really remember that it can be broken up into two main sections, similar to the Common app. So in the first section, there's going to be the general profile where you'll be filling out general information that can be used by multiple colleges that you apply to. In the profile section, you'll be asked to provide things such as personal and family information, high schools and colleges attended, high school and college coursework, standardized test scores, extracurricular activities and awards, and then the main Coalition essay that most students will have to complete. And in the second session, you'll be asked to fill out information for the specific colleges that you apply to. So this is known as the colleges section. And in the second section, you'll be asked to select colleges to apply to and then complete specific tasks and answer specific questions for each individual college. Some of the things that specific colleges will ask for are specific information taken from the previous profile section that I just mentioned, term and decision plan, official documents such as transcripts, high school reports, and letters of recommendation, specific application questions unique to each college, and these can really range from just bubble in answers to short answers and even short essays. Please remember, like I said, private schools work independently of one another, so the questions that they ask in their own individual sections or applications can be totally different from one another. Another tip I have for you all is to make use or take advantage of the application overview or the tutorial function. 
After you create your account, there's going to be an application overview that you can see that the coalition uses to walk you through the entire application. It briefly walks you through major parts of the application and provides you general information and tips to best complete each section. It also shows you how to get extra help and support when you need it. I really advise you all to look through the application overview or tutorial function whenever you get the chance. It does break down things pretty easily and simply for you all, so I definitely recommend it. And the last coalition tip I have for you all is to take advantage of the help link that you can find on every single section or every single page of the coalition app. Once you click on the help link, you'll be led to a page that specifically talks about what the section is about. This is a great tool because it actually tells you what exactly the colleges and coalition app is looking for. And then it actually tells you how to input your answers as well. I really recommend you all to visit this link on every single section or subsection in the coalition app, regardless if you know how to answer the questions or not. I think it's a really great tool for students to just get an idea of what the colleges or coalition app is looking for and then filling it out accordingly. Now I want to walk you through how to actually create your account for the coalition app. When first creating your account, you should visit coalitionforcollegesaccess.org and then click on create my coalition account. Once on this page, you should click on create a new account and then from here the process to create your account is pretty simple. You will need to simply provide your name, email address, password, and then date of birth. Unlike the other college application walkthroughs I did in the past, the coalition actually requires students to verify their email first. So after creating your account for the first time, make sure to go and check your email and then verify the account that you just created. After you verify your account, you'll be able to log in and start your actual application. Once you sign back in, you will see the page that says welcome to the coalition and then it will ask you whether you are a student or someone helping a student. Please make sure you fill out this question correctly. If you are a student that's applying for colleges next semester or next year, make sure to click on the student option. And once you answer a student, you'll be asked a series of questions so the coalition application and website can learn more about who you are. You'll be asked questions such as, what is your enrollment status? Which basically means where are you going to school right now? For most students that are applying traditionally as a first year student, you will just select high school. And then if you do select high school, you'll be asked when your graduation date is going to be. Next, you will be asked if you're a U.S. citizen or U.S. national. For this question, I really advise you all to have a conversation with your parents so you can make sure you put the right answer down. Also, please remember that you do not have to be a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident or a U.S. national to apply to college. This is just more for them to learn more about who you are as a student. Lastly, you'll be asked which colleges you're interested in applying to. For this question, if you really are unsure about the colleges that you want to apply to or maybe you don't have a strong college list yet, you could go ahead and skip it and add colleges later. Also, if you do find yourself in the situation where you don't know exactly which colleges you want to apply to yet, I really do recommend you all to watch my How to Build the Best College List video that I did in the past. It's a great way for you to figure out which colleges you want to apply for based on match and fit. With that being said, if you already have a good idea of which colleges are on your college list, you can go ahead and start inputting them here. I'll specifically walk you through how to add colleges to your coalition application in another part of this video, so make sure to stay tuned. Once you're done creating your account and answering the first informational questions in the beginning, you'll then be led to the account overview page. On this page, you'll see options such as start your profile, add to your locker, invite contacts, and build your college list. As you can see, these are the four main sections that you'll have to complete in the Coalition app. And like I said, I'll cover three of them in this video. For all four of these options, you can either click on the options as shown or you can go ahead and navigate to the top as well. As you fill out the application and each individual section, you will see general overview of steps you've completed and then the steps and questions you still need to complete in the future. This is a really great way for you to check your progress and then to also check which questions or sections you need left to complete before you submit your applications. One interesting thing about the Coalition app which separates it from all the applications such as the UC application and the CSG application is that they actually allow you to upload any official documents as well as any other files for your own use when you're filling out the college application. They do this by creating a section called the locker and essentially a locker is simply a place for you to keep any files you have such as documents, graphics, PDFs, and anything else you want to keep so you can refer to later as you're filling out your college application. Only you can see the files that are stored in your locker but you can also give permission to your counselors, parents, friends, and even college campuses to view if you'd like. I think this is a really great tool for you to use if you want to upload any transcripts, test scores, previous essays, or any other general information that you want to keep online or electronically so you can make filling out the college application process a lot easier. 
In your locker, you will also need to upload specific information such as official documents and recommendations. On this page, you will be able to see which types of official documents and recommendations are required of you to complete the application process for the various colleges and the campuses that you are applying to. Essentially, every single private college on the Coalition app, if not most of them, are going to require you to submit at least one official document or one official letter of recommendation to complete your application process. So it's really important for you all to understand which colleges you're applying to, and even more important, understand what the requirements are for every single college that you selected. The process to upload your files is pretty quite simple. You simply need to click on the upload button and then either drag your files into the box or simply select from the files on your computer. After you upload your files into your locker, you could go ahead and look at them or refer to them whenever you'd like to make filling out the college application process easier. However, you can also go ahead and attach it to a specific college application if they are asking for a specific type of official document or file. I ran ahead and left a link to how to upload your files as well as how to attach them to specific college applications in the description box below. I also left other links to specific articles that I read to get more information for this video. So make sure to check those links out if you haven't done so already. Whenever you apply to a private college, whether that be on the Common application or the Coalition application, you'll likely have to submit some information about a contact that will be able to submit your letter of recommendation or submit any of the school reports or forms for you. In the Coalition application, there's actually a specific section where you could go ahead and upload any contacts or provide information about any contacts that can be used to help you finish your college applications. In the contacts section, you'll have the opportunity to add a variety of contacts onto your college application. There are many types of contacts or relationships that you can add such as counselor, recommender, parent guardian, teacher, friend, mentor, or you can actually go ahead and create your own relationship if you'd like. To add a contact, you simply just need to provide their name, their email address, and then the type of relationship they have with you. Please note that once you do add your contact, they'll be able to see things such as your email address, high schools attended, as well as any official document requirements or statuses that you have. As I mentioned already, these contacts are really meant to help you finish your college applications for the different colleges that you're applying to. Counselors, for example, will be able to submit any final transcripts as well as mid-year reports for you. And then teachers will be able to submit things such as letters of recommendation and so on. Other contacts will be able to assist you throughout the entire application process, depending on what the colleges need from you. And that's one important note that I have for you all here. The contacts are going to really be dependent on the colleges that you apply to, just because some colleges will be require three letters of recommendation from a teacher and then other schools won't require that at all but they will need a counselor recommendation or a counselor in final year report. So like I've said already, really make sure that you're on top of the requirements for every single college that you're applying to. I'll actually be going into a little bit more detail about contacts and specifically letters of recommendation as well as school reports in the next session which is specifically talking about colleges. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, the college list or college section in the coalition application is going to ask you to select the colleges that you want to apply to. And once you're done selecting all the colleges and campuses you want to apply to, you'll then have to complete specific tasks and answer specific questions for each individual college. And for a quick reminder, colleges and campuses will ask for things such as specific information taken from the previous profile section, term and decision plan, official documents such as transcripts, high school reports, and letters of recommendation. And lastly, they'll ask specific application questions which are unique to every single campus that you're applying to. But typically, these can range from bubble in answers to short answers to even short essays. Like I mentioned in the common application, I don't want to go into too much detail here just because every single college is going to be different. It's going to be impossible for me to talk about every single requirement or every single question that each individual college is going to apply for just because, like I said, they're all different and there's so many schools in the coalition application. However, with that being said, I do have some general information and general tips that I do want to provide you all. As I mentioned before, when you click on the college section, you'll first be asked to add any colleges you want to apply to if you haven't done so already. The process is pretty simple. You just need to input the name of the college you wish to select and then click on the add to list button. Once you're done selecting all the campuses that you want to apply to, you'll see them properly at the bottom of this page. From here, you can click on each individual campus and start the application process for every single one of them. 
Please remember that this section or this application is only going to be one part of the main coalition application. Like I said earlier, the coalition application can be broken up into two parts. One part which is the college section which I'm talking about right now. And then the other part is the general profile or the general application which I'll be walking you through in the next video. But like I said, make sure you do complete both sections. You do need both of them to submit your application. On the college page, you'll also be able to see college and deadline information where you can go ahead and see specific information for each college campus you are applying to. I really advise you all to look through this and be aware of the contact information for each campus that you're applying to, but then also be aware of the deadlines or the multiple deadlines for the colleges that you selected. To begin the application for a specific campus, simply click on continue to application. Once you click on this, you will then be led to a page that specifically lists the profile subsection requirements for the colleges that you're applying to. Typically for the coalition application, I do recommend students to complete the entire general profile section first before they even add any colleges to their application. The reason for this is because as you can see, a lot of the colleges that you do apply to will require a lot of information from that general profile section. And like I said, I'll be going over the general profile section in the next video, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I know I've said a lot of times already that each individual private college is going to require different requirements. However, some of them do have similar general application requirements that all students need to complete. One of them is the term question. And for the term question, you'll simply need to select the academic term you are applying for and then the decision plan for each campus such as early decision, early action, regular decision, and so on. Please note that if you are interested in early decision or early action, you will have to sign and upload a document or an agreement. Another general requirement that most campuses have is official documents. For the official documents, this is where you will be asked to provide academic forms and transcripts as well as letters of recommendations that I mentioned in the contact section earlier. In general, your counselors are going to be the ones that submit your mid-year and final year reports as well as transcripts and then sometimes they'll also be asked to submit letters of recommendations for you. On the other hand, your academic and general recommendations usually come from your teachers. However, with that being said, each individual campus is going to be a little bit different and they all have different criteria for what recommendations they want or need. So like I said and like I keep saying, make sure to stay on top of the requirements. The last type of application requirement that the majority of campuses do require is the application questions section or application questions requirement. Once again, each individual campus is going to have different and unique questions that they will ask you. But in general, for each application, you will be asked a wide variety of questions. Some will be specific to the campuses that you're applying to and then some will be general information just to learn more about you. Some of the main components or types of questions that you'll see in this section usually relate to what major you want. So this is actually where you'll be declaring your major. And then the other questions will relate to short answer questions or then even essays that you have to complete. The application questions requirement is really interesting just because some campuses will only ask you two or three questions and some will ask you a hundred questions and then have you submit essays as well. So really stay on top of the requirements and make sure you understand what's needed from you before you can even submit. Once you are done completing the entire application process for a specific campus, you will be able to see this at the top of the page, but you also can see this in the general college section as well. For both of these pages, you can actually see your progress in real time. There's actually going to be a percentage that you see on each individual page to see how much more you need to complete. And with that, that's all the content I have for the first part of the Coalition Application video series. Before I let you go though, I do have a couple questions for you. The first question is which colleges are you applying to in the Coalition app? The second question is from what you've seen so far between the Common app and the Coalition app, which one do you prefer and why? And with that, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for spending some time out of your day learning about college with me. I think that's super awesome. Like I mentioned already, I will be making a second part to this video where I'll be discussing the rest of the coalition application. Specifically, I'll be talking about the profile section, which is pretty long. And then I'll also talk about how to submit your application. So as always, thumbs if you learned and subs if you loved. Take care, y'all.